Welcome to the West Coast Beer Cast. I'm Bobby Covina. And I'm Professor Bill, and this is the, the West, West Coast, Coast Beer, Beer Cast. So today, Robert, what do we have? Well, first of all, we have an announcement. It's Bill's birthday today. It is my birthday so today. So it's a birthday beer cast. But not by the time this gets posted, so. And as a special birthday gift, I'm not going to say anything all night. Just nice. That's my birthday gift. All right. Tonight. Well, we have yeah. Epic Ales tonight with a chalkboard, but no chalk, so post-it notes. Epic Ales. It's going to be epic. All right. All right. So to start off, the uh, flagship of the Epic Ales, we have to say, the Arrogant Bastard by Stone. Yeah, absolutely. Looking forward to that one. Up next, we will go with Deschutes, the Mirror Pond Pale Ale. Classic. It's my wife's favorite, her go-to. Chimay, widely available. So Absolutely. It's one of our more spiced ones, right? We'll go to the Telegraph. This is the California Ale. Telegraph. It's from Santa Barbara, craft brewery, gaining recognition. Definitely need the Boddingtons. This is an English ale. I have a great story coming up about Boddingtons that you guys will enjoy. Very creamy, very smooth. A little out of the box. This is the brewery, which we featured one of their Belgian white wheats last time. And this is the Saison de Lente. It's a uh, Belgian-style ale. The Lagunitas. This is the, the censored rich copper ale. Really nice finish on this one. Lost Abbey Judgment Day. This one is 10.5%. <coughs> Crazy. And it's brewed with raisins. So we have some exciting news. We have a new history segment narrator. And what happened to Weldon? We, Weldon got canned. I think we sent Weldon on a long cruise to the Baltic Sea. We did, yeah. He'll be back. Okay. Yeah, so uh, we're going to have a listen to... You booked him, I don't know. I don't know. Let's look at the history segment. Ale is a type of beer brewed from malted barley using top fermenting yeast, which performs at warmer temperatures. The yeast ferments the beer quickly, giving it a sweet, full-bodied, and fruity taste. Ales have hops. This bitterness balances the sweetness of the malt. Brown ales brewed with a darker malt and tends to be lightly hopped and fairly mildly flavored often with a nutty taste, like Newcastle. Pale ale is made from malt dried with coke. Pale ale also tends to be heavily hopped with a more bitter taste. Scotch ales are malty, strong, dark ales. The malt may be slightly caramelized to impart toffee notes. Belgian ales. Trappist and Abbey beers are high in alcohol content and light in body due to large amounts of sucrose. Trappist beers are brewed under direct control of the monks themselves, while Abbey beer is brewed by commercial breweries in the style of Trappist beer. And finally, English Real Ale. This is set apart from other beers because it's alive when served. Other brews are pasteurized, whereas real ales continue to ferment after they leave the brewery. A true, real ale should be served hand-pumped. And those are ales. Okay, we're back. That was an interesting history segment. And yeah. Seamus, I have to say, is a little easier to handle than Weldon. So yeah. I'm liking Seamus. Choice. Okay. So let's get started. Stone Brew. This is the Arrogant Bastard. Oh, it smells so good. so good it's phenomenal in every way and yet I know so many people that don't like this at all wow I don't know who could so not good. like this though I don't but know if you've never had it ramp your way up go with the pale ale maybe then India pale ale from stone then bump up to arrogant bastard my personal favorite is the oaked arrogant bastard they just take big wood chips drop them in oak chips actually really good so this is the Mere Pond. This is the Pale Ale by Deschutes. Okay. So it's probably going to be significantly more mellow. It smells sweet. Like apricots. Either that or that's a pub mix. <laughs> Tastes really yeah, fruity. Kind of tart. I don't taste any tart. 
Yeah, I do. A little bitter at the end, but it's sweet up front and then caramely. Bitter at the end. Wow. Yeah. And then the sweetness comes back again for a second. It like does. It goes away and then it, it goes away and it comes back. Yeah. Like a loop de loop. Yeah. But with sweetness. Like that gum that changes flavor right now? Okay. I don't know what that means. Okay, so the Chimay um, is a trap. Now, the difference between Trappist and Abbey Ales are like the Trappist ones are actually brewed under the direct uh, control of the monks themselves. Whereas the Trap. Wait. The Abbey beers are just. Brewed by a commercial brewery, and they just take the, the name. Of, yeah, they take the name of a famous abbey. Bit. So this one is, I think, brewed by the monks themselves. Right? Actual monks. All right. I want to join that monastery. Yeah. Mm. It's kind of spiced. I'm not as impressed as I thought it would be. It barely smells. You have to really get your nose in there. Not much of a flavor. Just spiced. I'm guessing this would be a good starter Belgian. Kind of there. I mean, what's the alcohol content on this? Nine? Nine percent. Yeah. So. It's great for a nine percent. Yeah. For, it doesn't taste like nine percent. Yeah. I don't think it's much to write home about. I'm sure I'm offending Chimay fans all around. It's, but. it's eloquent. It's almost like... It is. It's got. It's It's complex, but yet... Balance to the Telegraph California AL, which is their like be, uh, best beer, I think. Yeah, it's the go to for Telegraph for sure. Doesn't smell at all. You have a cold or something? I don't. smell all kinds of things. Are you? Yeah. No. Whoa! <laughs> Where'd the citrus train come from? <laughs> that is Everyone hop on board! <laughs> what the heck happened? <laughs> It doesn't taste like the last batch. Maybe they dropped some lemons in there. Did they? I don't know. Yeah. It was crazy citrus. Slightly, um, like moldy oranges. You know, there's some, that... With a moldy orange finish. So I would send that back if I was at, like, I opened the bottle of wine and like, tea. Maybe we got a bad batch. All right, so, on to Boddington's. This is one of my favorites. This is one of the go-tos. You can find this many places. Creamy. Didn't you have a story about Boddington's? Oh, yes. First time I had Boddington's, I was in Pasadena at Lucky Baldwin's. Go if you've never been. Fantastic place if you're ever in Pasadena. Sit down at the bar and there's... Wait, does your wife want to hear the story? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah that okay. was great. Um, it was after a gig, so we're hanging out. <clears throat> Hundreds of beers, and this was just when I was getting into beers. And they said, what do you want? I said, I, I don't know, a beer. And this Scotsman, and in my memory, he's wearing a kilt. He says, you've got to try this. And slides it across the bar, and it lands in my hand, like in Back to the Future 2. And I, I look at him like, you want me to try your beer? And he's like, it's delicious. And so I tried it, and it was. And it was Boddington's. And ever since that day, I've come to know and love Boddington's. So with that. Okay. I can't believe you drank a stranger's beer. But... I know. Only at Lucky Baldwin's. It's really good. It's creamy. It's so smooth. Wow. That is a friendly beer. It just slides across the bar and sticks your hand. It does. <laughs> yeah, it tastes like there's like... It's like 3.2 beer that they sell in Oklahoma. You know, we can only... So get, good. Can't so make it creamy, beer. delicious, smooth. But yeah, very... What is it? It doesn't even say what it's about. But it's capped at like 3%. I don't know. Because you can't even taste it. Yeah, so good. It's not going to attack and grab you, but it's it's delicious. I like it. If you've never had a Boddington's, dare I say, but... epic. A little watery, but dare I say, epic. All right, so now we're up to the Saison mm -hmm. by the brewery, which... Orange County. My pick of the week last week, Orchard White Phenomenal. Let's see if this holds up. Wow, spiced. Yeah. Wow, lots of spices. <laughs> Very floral. Lots of, yeah. Wow. Like tart, bitter floral. Like a handful of roses in my mouth in a not good way. 
with a little bit of dirt. <laughs> bit of the root. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting rose root. I'm telling you, I am. I, you know, I can't remember the last time I had rose root. Um, it's been a while. In my head, this is what it would taste like. Some daffodil sprinkled on top. Kind of weird. I definitely taste the daffodil, but I don't know about the... All right, all right. You taste it. You tell me this doesn't taste like daffodil and rose root. Now I know why they call it an Easter beer. Well, it says... It is. Perfect for Easter. It tastes like Easter lilies. It does. I take that back. This smells and tastes like lilies. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Picture Easter and what it would taste like if it was a beer, and that's what this tastes like. Okay, so this is the Lagunitas. Lagunitas. Censored. censored rich copper ale. And I think what they mean by the censored is it's less hoppy than... They're typically like major hopheads. Yeah. Everything is yeah. hoppy. Hophead like me. Super malty. Almost smells like a chocolate malt, chocolate shake. Lots of malt. I've never smelled something so malty, except a chocolate malt. Yeah, it's kind of hmm. definitely less hoppy than their like. Yeah. Really less hoppy. Almost so little hops, it's flat. Lots of malt though on the attack. Yeah, but you still get that bitter hoppiness and then the malt a little bit just tames it. I like the malt. If you don't, it. The malt yeah. Yeah. It. Yeah. If you don't know what malt tastes like, get the Lagunitas Copper Ale. And it'll hit you over the head with malt. Yeah, but it's, nice it's got a consistent taste. flavor. It just kind of stays. You know, it hits you. It does. Place. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the polite guy you meet at a bar that tries to punch you and then says, we're cool. Because it's it's polite. You can't, you can't relate to that story. Never, right, right. I've never met that guy. He always just punches. No. Me, so. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I like it. I like it a lot. So before we try the Lost Abbey, it's important to know ales in general are top fermenting, which means if you were to look inside of a big vat of beer as it's fermenting, ales ferment on the top, top fermenting, and lagers. Can you guess this one, Bobby K? Lagers are from the bottom. Bottom fermenting. Like catfish, the bottom feeders. Yeah, yeah. And and other things. Yeah. So let's try the Lost Abbey. This is the judgment day. Nine and a half percent. I smell Dark. the raisins. You smell the raisins? Mm, I love raisins. Too. I think you're making that up. I don't smell I love smell. raisins. I put raisins in everything. I am getting the raisins. Wow. It doesn't really taste like ten and a half percent. Mm mm. Not at all. Tastes like maybe 9.7, but not 10.5. I'd say it tastes more like 6.5. 6.7%. Definitely tastes the alcohol. It's it's good. It has like a candied finish. I think well, that's, that's the reason. Yeah. yeah. It really is amazing. It's nice. It tastes flatter. It doesn't grab out yeah. and say, there is malt. Not getting that at all. You're getting a little of that cough syrup thing, though. A little bit of cough syrup. But yeah. it's not grape cough syrup, which is gross. Yeah. It's not cherry cough syrup. It's, it's raisin kinda, cough syrup. Raisin cough syrup. Yeah. If they made raisin cough syrup that was delicious, it would be the Lost Abbey Judgment Day. Yeah. So, Arrogant Bastard reaches out, grabs your taste buds, throws the beer on it. Amazing, delicious. Um, the only con is that it's amazing, it's delicious, and it's over the top. So if you don't like over the top beer, you're not going to like Arrogant Bastard. But if you look for something that's just crazy hops, crazy, amazing flavor, this is the one to go to. Remember, you're not worthy. Yeah, the tagline says you're not worthy. Second one is the Mirror Pond by Deschutes, the Pale Ale. Nice, smooth. This was kind of the apricot one, so... I don't know. Not as memorable. By itself, it's delicious, but I think stacked up against these other epic ales, didn't really hold its own weight. Chimay, a classic one. This is our blue label that we tasted. It's great as far as a Belgian goes. It's, it's kind of the stock, the go-to Belgian. It's nice. It just didn't grab me as much. I guess I'm becoming a bit of a hophead. 
Uh, we can skip this since we got a yeah, bad bottle. Yeah, Telegraph, we think that's just a bad bottle. Hopefully the rest of the, the Telegraph California ales are going to be delicious. This one was not. Either that or it's just a sour on purpose. Okay. Boddington's creamy, smooth, delicious. If you don't love beer, Boddington's is your friend. On the downside? <laughs> no, because if you don't like it, then... This will get you to like it. It'll get you to like beer. So, brewery, here's the size on. This was the Easter beer. Yes. So, it says it's the Easter beer probably because if you were to take all the flowers and, like, goopy stuff that mothers have, blend it up, and make it into beer, this is what it would taste like. So, if you like that, if you think that'd be delicious, this is the beer for you. Or if you want to try something different. Or if you want something different, yeah. It's good. The Lagunita Censored Rich Copper Ale. That one is super malty, 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 malty. A little bit of hop. Yeah, a little bit of hop. If you know Lagunitas, it's not hoppy for them. But delicious malty aftertaste. And finally, the last Abbey, the Judgment Day. Dun, dun, dun. Should have an organ playing beneath us as I describe this one. You ready? Cue it up. The Lost Abbey Judgment Day. What's the percentage? 10.5. 10.5%. Tastes like raisins. So you gotta drink this with a friend. Raisin cough syrup in a good way. Yeah. I think that's the pro and the con. Raisin cough syrup in a good way. Time for pick of the week. Pick of the week. All right. I think we both had it narrowed down between our two favorites, the Lagunitas Copper Ale and the Arient Bastard by Stone. Went back and forth with this, but I think we're going to have to go by split decision. By split decision, I mean in my heart split decision. <laughs> with the Stone Brewery Arrogant Bastard Ale. Good choice. Let's put it in the pick of the week box. All right, will it fit? It will fit perfectly. There Look we at go. That. Look at Close that. running up Lagunitas Copper Ale. So there we go, epic ales. So for the West Coast Beer Cast, <laughs> Bobby Covina, I'm Professor Bill saying, now, now that's, that's a beer. beer.